Technique is king in swimming. Um, you can be the fittest, strongest guy or girl in the world. If you don't have the technique to apply that force to the water correctly, you're not going to go very quickly or you're going to fatigue very quickly, certainly. So drills are a hugely important part of swim training. And again, we've just picked out a couple of basic drills that can really help you apply your natural strength or fitness to the water so that you go forward faster. So the double arm pull through drill gives us an opportunity to practice a nice long stroke with good technique. And what we're thinking about here is trying to make sure that there's a finger led element to the drill. So the fingers move first and they lead the elbow all the way through the stroke, right from the front, all the way through the press at the back. So when we're doing this drill, we want to make sure that the front end has a nice high elbow. So as the hand goes down, it's often important to think about elbow up. That isolates the elbow. And then as the hands come underneath the shoulders, we then start to accelerate, pushing all of that water that we've caught at the front out the back to propel us forward. So the single arm drill essentially advances the double arm drill, adding an element of rotation. So instead of doing both arms at once, we can do each arm in turn, really nailing that technique. And also as we push out the back on one side, the other side, the arm in the front extends, and that gives us a, a longer stroke to work with. Again, increasing the efficiency in the water, allowing us to move through the water faster. I'm a big believer in putting drills into any and every swim session. So this is a great drill to be done. Often the very first thing that you do when you get in the water before a warm up, but certainly between the warm up and the main set to ingrain that technique and get the muscles firing in the correct pattern.